What is up everybody? I wanted to do a quick Poppy AI demo. There's a whole bunch of reviews and stuff out there. So I just want to show you how I'm using it and answer a couple of big questions. The biggest one I get is how do the credits work? Because all of these AI tools kind of lose their value. If you get in there and you're like, I can only use it like six times and all my credits are gone. So we'll talk about the credits. Also coupon codes. EAM is our group discount code. That'll take 25 off. That's the biggest discount there is. If you use that, I really appreciate it. But if not, no worries. I'm gonna show you inside, so you might not even want it. So just save that code, but uh, don't buy just yet. I'm gonna show you how I'm using it. So let's go ahead and log in. I have a whole bunch of boards. So Poppy is getting better and better every single time that I use it. Um, very, very neat. The ways that I'm using it, right now I'm working on a book uh, called 60 Second Profits, and I've actually put together uh, my own blog posts down here, and I put them into a group. I put my partner's videos up here. Um, I've got text down here that I typed in manually to kind of give a little bit of context to the book, and then some stuff here that is videos from other uh, creators that I want, or I'm sorry, from Amazon themselves. It's an Amazon related book. Don't worry about that part. But then I'm able to actually talk to these things, right? So putting one of these together is super easy, very straightforward. And unlike a lot of other tools, it's not just reading the transcript. It's actually seeing the things that are inside of it, right? So I'll show you an example to kind of prove that to you. I made one. I wanted to review all of the top TikTok shop videos that I could find. So I made all the TikTok shop videos right here. Tons of them, right? I put all those together and I wanted to to see, um, you know, what, what was holding them all together. What was similar in all the videos? Things that I could have as takeaways, right? So let me see here. Let me, let's go through here and let's say, say, Do mo most of these videos have text overlays? It is actually looking at the images and looking at the video. It is not just going through the transcript. A lot of people think that tools like this just go through the transcript. Some of them do. Um, and actually here's, we talked about the credits. This, I am just on the most basic plan, which has been enough for me. This one would cost like 300 bucks. I didn't pay for any extra stuff. I didn't pay for extra support or anything like that. Uh, I just used the basic one. They will try to upsell the crap out of you. Keep that in mind. I didn't, they'll do it. When I bought, they did a mandatory onboarding call and I said, I'm not doing that. I don't do calls and uh, I didn't, but you do get extra credits. I think if you do, I think they're still doing that. So as you see here, they, they're talking about common examples, um, displaying numbers. I'm gonna say, give me a real example from these videos. Oh wait, here they go. Flame Torch Weed Update shows before and after results with text. Magic Crack Filler highlights the ease and use of effect. So it does actually see it. I just really wanted to hammer that home. So the size of the credit usage. So that one took 30 credits of my 2000 for the month. Part of the reason why that takes more credits than other things is because this is a lot of stuff. I have a lot of data inside of there, right? So every time it does that, it's going to have to go through those videos. What you can do, I'll show you another example. I took 15 hours worth of video content that I had created for a, a course that me and my partner run. And I put it all in here and I wanted to talk to it. And as I would talk to it, it would say, that's too much, that's too many things. Uh, so what I did, since I didn't need to actually see the video like I did on the other ones, I took this and I downloaded all of the transcripts and I just put the transcripts up into their own group up here. So now I can talk to them and it's going to give me the same output without all of the different um, usages. So let me see here. Let's, let's type in. So that last one used about 30. So let's say, um, zoom in. Okay. 
What is a good ROI for Amazon flips? So this is going to talk to the course, another Amazon course, right? And instead of pulling from all the videos, which was taking so many credits, uh, it's actually going through the transcripts and it's giving me text based quotes for everything. So that right there took about 50 uses, right? So it depends how much you're using it. If you're sitting here and chatting with it all day, yeah, you're going to burn through your credits. The more videos you have, you know, the more, um, credits you're going to use. What I recommend is if you're only talking to one thing, just talk to that one thing, like disconnect these. Like, let's say that I only wanted to talk to day 11. I could come here and I would connect day 11 and then I would talk to that. Right? So the biggest case uses courses, books. I use it for my blog posts. Uh, if I'm doing a new blog post, like I wrote one for my last video, on Eureka and I wanted to use someone else's review as just kind of a, a base point to kind of make sure I didn't miss anything that they covered. And then I had the AppSumo listing and then I had a couple of other things. I actually ended up not really doing that one full bore. Uh, you can use it for your email marketing. I have all of my past emails uploaded into this and I'm able to chat with them and I'm able to actually create emails that are in my same style. Uh, you can upload big PDFs and have it export it for you. And the cool thing is that you're actually getting more than just chat GPT. You can choose any of these, right? If you want to go with a cheaper model, um, to not use as many credits, you can come down here and use GPT 4.0 mini. Uh, you can use the more advanced ones if you want, like Claude Sonnet or chat GPT, um, 4.1 but you don't need to unless it's something super uh, important. <laughs> but even the cheaper ones give you a really good output. Let's see, what else do we have in here? Another cool feature that, that just kind of came out that they're, they're rolling out is the ability to actually share. Um, I can make a board public and copy to share it, or I can make it a template. So then someone else can actually edit it. So I took all of my old courses are all of those uh, OE Challenge replay chats and I actually share this to people as a uh, template so they can actually go in here and talk to it, which is very neat. You have to make sure you're sharing a template though and not the actual board or they'll be able to edit the board. So let me show you another good way to kind of use fewer credits, right? So let's go back to, let's go back to this bigger one. And again, guys, that's a lot of videos. That's gonna take a lot of credits. But one thing that we can do is we can actually come down here and change the model. So let's see if we can run many. Let's say make a list of all products promoted in the videos. Let's just see what it does, right? So this one should be pretty heavy, right? That's a lot. That's 50 videos. And here we go. It's making a spreadsheet there for me. Very curious how many credits this will take. GPT 4.0 mini is the one that you want if you want to make sure that you're using minimal credit. Look at that. That only used two credits. And yeah, I got to go through and check. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but that's pretty freaking good. So do I recommend Poppy? Yes, big time. It is one of my favorite tools that I use. It goes beyond chat GPT. There are things that it does that you could do probably with like a custom GPT, but just the ability to create these boards and really use that, that custom knowledge base, particularly if you're like me and you have a bunch of your old content, like I'm working on my book and I'm using my own content. I'm feeding that. I'm saying, help me write this chapter, help me create this outline, pull direct quotes from these things, right? That is so powerful and doing that with a custom GPT just would not be the same. So that is how I use Poppy. That is how you can get the most out of your credits. Again, the code that uh, is attached to me, my affiliate code is EAM. Use that link down below. I'd really appreciate it. That is the best coupon code. If you use a different code, I don't get credit, but it's okay. Either way, check it out. I'm a huge fan of Poppy. It's not perfect, but it's pretty freaking good and I love it. I'm so glad I use it. 
one more thing actually they do have their own huge thing here of custom templates that you can dive right into and actually just use uh, so very neat check it out you want it